Hi, Berenice Magistretti here at OIS Retina. I'm here with Tom Shula, Medical Strategy Lead of Ophthalmology at Spark Therapeutics. Hi, Tom. Hi, thank you very much for having me. Thank you for being here. So Spark Therapeutics is uh, the first company to have um, developed gene therapy for a genetic disease to have, you know, that was approved by the FDA. Um, and it's uh, Luxturna. So can you tell me a bit about um, how that's going right now on the market? Uh, sure. Um, it was approved in December for uh, RP65 uh, mutation-associated retinal dystrophy. Patients have to have biallelic disease and sufficiently viable retina cells. Um, it was launched at the beginning of this year, and it's going well. Great. And so, for example, because I have a, a retinal degeneration myself, and it's a different type of mutation than RPE65, so do you see one day maybe having sort of one drug or treatment targeting different types of mutation, or is that really hard to achieve? Well, first of all, as a retina specialist, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you have that. Um, but I think the, the, what Luxterna represents is a model for the future. So to your question, I think that um, hopefully this will be first of many to come. Um, I think that uh, Luxterna being a first demonstrates that we are able to um, have a gene therapy approved for a retinal disorder, and uh, there are many companies working on many forms of inherited retinal disease. So I'm very hopeful in the future we'll have uh, many gene therapies for other forms of retinal degeneration. But why is the retina so complex to treat and cure? Um, that's a great question. So as we move into this era of precision medicine, we're able to define diseases by mutations. And um, it turns out that there have been over 260 genes identified causing some form of inherited retinal dystrophy. So uh, when we start to explore gene therapies, we need to replace the, the gene um, mutation or, or gene by gene. And so therefore, um, we have lots of different targets to pursue, and that adds to the complexity, of course. And then so, from what I understand, gene therapy will repair the damaged gene and the mutation, but then in order to restore the vision of the patient, um, is that in, like stem cell maybe therapy in the future? Uh, it's a very complicated question. It'll depend on um, the type of inherited retinal disease and the status of a patient's retina. But what we do is gene augmentation. So basically we have a, a patient, in this case, who has biallelic RP65 inherited retinal dystrophy. Um, and uh, this a gene controls a critical part of the visual cycle. Uh, what we are doing is we're, we're supplying a normal copy of the gene, um, which replaces uh, the enzymatic um, functions, and that restores um, vision. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having me. Mm -hmm.